so today I'm doing a look using products I've received in my BoxyCharm subscription box. If you've never heard of BoxyCharm before, it is a monthly subscription box where you get about five full-size products from different brands um, ranging from brushes to primers to face products. So I think it's really great. I've only had a couple boxes. I think my first one was in January. I haven't had a chance to use a whole lot of the products I've received in the last couple months, so I thought I would just do a video using a bunch of products that I have received basically this year. There are a couple products that I did not receive in my BoxyCharm, like my foundation and my concealer. So I'm not really going to show that. I'm going to do this video a little bit different. I am going to try to explain the product and how what I liked about the product. And then I'm basically going to do a demo to show myself using it for the first time. All of the products that I used today from my BoxyCharm are new products, so you'll be able to see my first impression as well as a demo for the application. And then I'll also give my current opinions about the products. So if you'd like to see how I like my BoxyCharm subscription and the products that come in it, and you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So the first two products that I used were primers. I used the Cover Effects Blurring Primer and the Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I was actually surprised by both of these. The Cover Effects I was expecting to be more of like a silicone formula and it's actually very similar to like the Benefit uh, Professional or the Pores No More, the regular one. I was also a little surprised by this Dr. Brandt Luminizer one. It looks like uh, the pores no more, but a little bit lighter in consistency. And when you rub it out, it, it just gives you kind of a glow. Like I felt like my skin looked really smooth, but I didn't feel like I was that illuminated. Very cool. I liked both of those primers actually. I think I I think my makeup looks pretty good. So the next thing I did was put on my foundation and concealer. I did use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And then I baked with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. The next thing I use from my BoxyCharm is the Pure Sculptor Palette. So that looks like this. It has bronzer shades and two highlighter shades. I actually really liked this. I do want to say that the colors in here are pretty dark. I would use these more as contour powders as opposed to like a bronzer. Even the lightest shade was very gray and dark so I did have to warm it up a little bit. I am a bit more of a warm skin tone so I do like a grayer contour but I like a warmer bronzed look. So I did have to go in with a different bronzer but I think for contour it looks good. I used it on my nose. I think that looks pretty good. highlighters in this palette I mixed them I do think that the highlighters in this palette are very pretty so I will go ahead and show that shot now even though that's not the order that I applied I might as well show you how this palette works I use that on my cheek my brow bone a little bit on the forehead and on my nose
after I bronzed and contoured, I used the blush that I received. It's a pretty vulgar blush in, in Hush Blush. It's a really pretty color. I think it's very natural. I don't think it's too much. I definitely like it. Um, and then I also used uh, this brush. I didn't like it to apply the bronzer, but I did like it to apply blush. So I received that. <laughs> I used from my BoxyCharm was the BoxyCharm Pure Palette and it's really pretty. It looks like this. Um, I will show a close-up of this color here. I used this as my transition color and it might have been the brush I was using. I was trying to use this uh, brush I got in my BoxyCharm and it wouldn't really hold the product. And I think it maybe have made a mark, but it my normal brush that I use that I I'll show you in the next clip um, that I end up blending it out with normally doesn't make that type of indent in the pan. So we'll do the demo and I'll show you kind of what my reaction is, how I use that brush I don't like, and then how I end up blending it out. <music> I think this blended very nicely. I like the colors as well as this ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. I went in with this color as well as this color and I did that kind of like here. I wasn't really a fan of the formula of this shimmer shade. I liked the matte color. I thought it brought a really nice color into the crease. but I wasn't really that much of a fan of this metallic color. that I used was this brow gel and it's a little light for my hairs to be honest it's not the right color I think I would like it if it was the right color but I don't think it's the right color The next product
product I used is from Pretty Vulgar. It is the Ink in Blacklist. It's a gel eyeliner and it comes in kind of like a, like an ink container. It's a little cheap feeling the top. Like I feel like that's gonna dry out really quick, but I liked the consistency. I thought it was actually pretty easy to work with. I don't mind my wing. I like the side better than, no, I like this side better than this side, but. Um, yeah, I thought it was black, it went matte, and I thought it was really easy to use. I did use a brush that came in my new boxy charm. It is like an eyeliner brush pretty small and so I did use this to apply the gel eyeliner. I've never actually used a gel eyeliner with a brush like that and had success so this I did and I thought it was very easy to use so I do suggest that eyeliner. with the Vintage by Jessica Lieberskind. It's in jet black. I mean, not for the waterline, it was kind of dry to be honest. Maybe if you were like smoking it out on top or something, it wouldn't be bad, but it was kind of dry. The next thing I used was the Double Decker Lashes by Butter London. I wasn't really a big fan of the brush. I got the Tardius Mascara in one of my BoxyCharms. I've used that basically every video and I love it. I love it, you guys. It is so good. And this, like the brush is kind of clumpy. I didn't like it on my bottom lashes. I didn't really care for it. I'll probably use it just to use it, but I would not purchase this. I believe the last products I used from BoxyCharm were the lip products. So the matte lip gloss in Kiss Me. I wouldn't have normally paired this lip color with this eye, but again, I wanted to use BoxyCharm stuff. So I went, I went with this color. And then I did put this gloss over it, Bang Beauty in Spice. I do actually really like this gloss. It's a nice color. It's juicy. I think it's pretty. My overall thoughts, I do really like my BoxyCharm. I do use some of the products when it first comes. I remember using the mascara right away. I've gotten some primers that I've used, uh, face masks I've used right away. So it is really great if you want a couple of products. They do give you full size products. I did save the little card that comes with it from this month. And it basically has some information and tells you about the products and then it gives you their value. So for this month, I got the Sculptor Palette, which is retailed at $30. The Blurring Primer, which is $38. The Eye Set, which retails for $45. Gel Eyeliner for $24. The Face Brush, which is okay, is $27. And the Liquid Lip Gloss is $10. And then they also give you like coupons, you have a 20% off cover effects, and Pure as well will give you 15% off. So you have codes there. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video where I used products from my BoxyCharm. If you did, please subscribe. Make sure to check out the bottom bar below so that you can see all of the products that I use, link up on my social media, as well as click the link to the BoxyCharm website if you're interested in subscribing to a BoxyCharm box. And until next time, guys, Toddy buys.